What's going on everyone? Hope you have a great day. So here I'm back on another video. I am Surajit and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try on another new mineable coin, which is based on the Caspa. And also this is a GPU mining fork because this is released for the GPU mining purpose also. So that's why this is called as a GPU mining fork. So this is about the Nexelia, but you can call as a Nexel IA because on the mining pool stat here you can see that the name it's our Nexel dash IA, which is the short form is the NXL, but you can choose or called as a Nexelia. So Nexelia network is a based on the Caspa blockchain, which is the first open source decentralized and fully scalable layer one in the world. So Nexelia use the curls in hash algorithm and launches a GPU focused fork tackling the prevalence of ASICs mining operation. This strategic move is designed to bolster small scale miners and amplify the network decentralization. So they have also the web wallet. So if I click on the web wallet option, you can get this page to create your web wallet for the Nexelia. So this is a basic process. Just input your mail ID and password and you get some preface or the seeds which you can wrote on a blank paper for the futuristic purpose if you forgot your password you can recover your wallet by this seed so they provide also the recover from seed so if you forgot your password you can recover from this preface or the seeds by input this preface on this blank option so this is the overall thing it's about the nexelia and the wallet and they have the block explorer where you can get all the details it's about the transaction blocks and the max supply total mind and also the reward and other details so this is the main community hub you can join on this this is about the discord twitter telegram github and the facebook page this is the white paper you can read by clicking on that if you are going to mine nexelia so if i just click on that here you can see all the summary it's three page is available so they have the all related documents if you are going to mine nexelia read all the documents before mining so this is a gpu focused approach for distributed intelligence and nexelia is a fork of the caspa blockchain and on there if i just scroll it down here you can see that the ghost deck protocol technically speaking is here it's about unlike conventional blockchain system ghost deck does not discard blocks generated concurrently instead it permits their coexistence existence stabilizing a concierge based sequence in this context nexelia function more as a block deck which with ghost deck dynamic observable through a real-time block deck visualizer so this is the advanced form of the nakamoto concierge ensure secure operation while enabling remarkably high block rates and currently one block per second with targets of 32 per seconds and prospect of reaching 100 per second so this is going to be the good because in here here you can see that the research and the developments and the envision advantages challenge to addresses and potentially it's about the application that provide the innovation and potential which is a flashed blockchain so nexelia used caspa technology which allows it to generate one block per second to input it in perspective bitcoin takes approximately 10 minutes to create a single block while ethereum takes about 15 seconds while caspa takes it's about one second per block so this is going to be the good and this incredible speed leads to lightning fast transaction and instant confirmation on the nexelia blockchain so if i also scroll it down there is the performance and the security for the nexelia to ultra secure block network with no compromise with decentralization achieved with pure stake less proof of works combined with the revolutionary ghost deck conscious mechanism so nexelia key feature is about fastest transaction so this is going to be the main features of the nexelia the fastest transaction because the bitcoin is take 10 minutes and the ethereum is take about 15 seconds wherever nexelia takes about one second second 
per block so this is the first option they provide and also they introduces this one to motivate some others that they can join this network so the second one is the instant confirmation third one is the scalability and there is the other is for the efficient is for the proof of work so nexalia utilizes the optical mining ready k heavy hash algorithm for concierge and security of the network this algorithm combined with the high throughout DAG with no wasted block makes it less energy intensive than other proof of work network. So also they provide less energy intensive because you know that if I mine some other coin stake around per card it's about 130, 40 and also much more than other coin. But in this here Nexalia it take just a 50 watt because you know that Carlson hash also take the 50 watt. Here is also that the Nexalia is run on the curls and hash and also this is a caspa fork so both are combined and take the lower power wattage for the gpu mining and here we can see that the nexalia is take around 570 megahertz per second and it's the efficiency is 11.40 so if i click on that i go on this and here is the hashtag.ns recommended and provided the overclock setting for the lol miner and for the risal miner and here you can see that the co offset is the 200, loft core class is 1680, memory class is 18, and the 150 is for the power limit. And this is the medium overclock setting, it's about 300, is the co offset 1500, it's locked core clock, and the memory clock is 18, and the power limit is 140. And for the revenue, if I choose for the high overclock setting, I got it's 0 0.28 on 24 hours mining, and the profit is right now. 0.12 and revenue I got is 10 in Excel which is good and the hash rate it's 636 megahertz per second and the efficiency is 9.64 megahertz per watt and the power reported is 66 watt for the high overclock setting and if you choose the medium overclock setting is take around 50 watt and this is the recommended overclock setting you can choose on your flight sheet and the exchanges is right now only available is the trade or none other is exchange is available for the NXL. So if you choose to sell all the trading purpose, choose trade or for the NXL as a USDT. So pool is recommended to choose as a hero miners and the X pool miner and the vehicle mine. And I am going to choose hero miners in this video. And in here, here we can see that it's about this is the Twitter handle. It's about Nexalia. It's about 1233 followers is right now available. And if I click on the Discord server here is 3533 members is available so you can join on their community hub and this is the github site here you can see that and also you can see that this is available on the what to mine for the calculation that what is the hash rate and what is the profitability and also some other details so this is because run on the cousin hash algorithm and here you can see that the hash rate is reported it's about 636 total i get it's about 1.2 giga hash so just for the calculation i said it's about 1.2 approximately and the power reported it's i take the high overclock setting it's about 66 watt for this i calculate it's about 135 i take i take around 135 so if i click on the the current value is also the current value so i calculate in that and here you can see that the per hour i can generate it's about 0.02 and per day it's about 0.51 since my both 3060 card is getting around 0.51 right now so on the weekly basis the revenue i can generate is 3.56 and on the monthly basis it's around 15.27 and the total revenue i can generate for my both 3060 card is about 0.51 per day and this is the profit on per month it's about 555 i know this is too low right now but if you hold this coin 
for the future purpose so i hope this is going to be the better and give you the max revenue and the profitability in later i recommend it right now if you are not choosing nexelia because in this video i am going to choose nexelia but if you are not preferred to choose nexelia there is a lots of coins is right now available so dinner theater is also going to be the best revenue for per 36 card is our 0.50 which has made this video is our dinner theater you can also choose this video for if you are going to choose as a dinner theater mining and if you are choosing some others right now again Sano AI PG game pass Conceal is going to be the profit as a GP mining so you can choose any of these all the video is available on my channel so click on that I hope this will be helpful for you and if you think that this video is going to be helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel now move on to the mining pool stat and here you can see that it's about 14 different mining pool server is available but I'm going to choose that the hashtag.no is recommended also this is the best is right now for the hero miners and if I choose on the hero miners there you can see that the pool mining hashtag block tag block time all the related rewards is available on there so minimum payout it's about 0 0.1 in excel and the payment interval it's our one hour pool free is 0.9 percent if you choose the hero miners and if you got a block then the reward it's about 12 nxl which is the price is right now 0.32 cents so move on to the next section this is the roadmap for the nexelia this is going to the nexelia quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four is going on and right now if i go to the price chart here you can see see that also in excel is provided the price and the high price is going is 0.04 which is right now the latest price is right now is 0.02 i'm going to choose the trade all for this video because i'm not going to choose as a nexelia web wallet because this is for the testing purpose for this i'm going to choose trade all exchange wallet and on the exchange right now also the price is 0.02 and this is the chart you can see in here so this is the overall thing all the details and about the related things and the community also is provided on that if you are going to interested about nexelia so read all the documents before mining now move on to the highways and here we can see that this is my highways account and my both 3060 card is now ready for mining and i already create flat sheet and also the wallet address because this video is going to be the long so that's why for the short video i make this as before so now move on to the wallet section so if i click i'm going to choose the trade route exchange wallet so just add your wallet section type on in excel and you can got the in excel coin and if you are not get then create in excel on the wallet section just paste your wallet as this i just paste it and create the name in excel i already create so in here i just scroll it down and it got my in excel account and here you can see that the nexelia trade work exchange wallet i'm going to choose in this video so this is my nexelia exchange wallet but paste your wallet address include this nexelia because if you are not choosing this nexelia then this address is going to be the error if you are choosing just like this the exchange wallet so choose all of this set the name I said in here as a Nexelia in Excel and the trade doc to notify or get the information that which I am going to use so this is the overall done now move on to the flight sheet and here you can see that I created both flight sheet for the LOL miner and also the Rizal miner because hashtag.no is recommended to choose both miner as a LOL miner and also the Rizal miner so that's why I am going to set both flight sheet on my high voice so you can choose any of this which one is going to be the best for you you can choose and which one is you like so if you are choose as a lol miner this this is for you and if you are choosing to as a risal miner that this is for you so now move on to the lol miner so i just click on that and here you can see that i create the nxl my wallet address is the trade all exchange wallet i am choosing the hero miners and also choosing the india server in here i am choosing 
using the lol minor and set the name and on the setup config file i don't change anything just i input the overclock setting to copy it from here so this is for the lol minor here you can see i just copy it from there otherwise all the details is provided as a default so apply on changes and create your flight sheet and this is done and if you are choosing as a risal minor so i just click on that here you can see that the nxl exchange wallet and hero miners is the same is the india server is the risal miner set the name and on the setup config file already as a default setting is taken on there i just input on the extra config argument as the overclock setting that the hash dot no is provided in here so i just copy it from there and paste it in here and apply on changes create the flight sheet now i provide the both live update as a lol miner and then i shared as a risal miner let's see that what is the live hash sheet in here so this is the live update in high words that my both 3060 card is now mining in excel using the tradoc exchange wallet and the hero miner server pool and this is run on the cousin hash algorithm and the total hash sheet i got it's around 1.2 giga hash and the per card is take around 638.8 to 640.9 and the power is take around for my v1 card is 83 watt and v2 card is 62 watt and the total consumption is about 145 watt so this is the same hash rate i got that the hash rate dot no is recommended and on the auto fan speed option here we can see that i don't set any auto fan speed option and on the overclock setting i set only the fan speed option in here because i set all the overclock setting in my flight sheet on the extra config argument and here we can see that the extra config argument that the co-offset is 200 locked core clocks is 1680 and the memory clocks is 18 and the power limit is 150 so this is the high overclock setting that the hash dot no is provided so this is the overall setting and the overall thing for the nxl mining using the lol miner right now we want to the risal miner that what is the hash rate that they are provided on there so this is for the risal miner and here we can see that the nxl mining in on my both 3060 card and the same hash rate i got in here that the 1.280 giga hash and the same hash rate in here also that the 639 for the v1 card and 640 for the v2 card and the same power is take it's around 81 for the v1 and 60 for the v2 card and the overclock setting i said the same only the fan speed option is enable in here and on the auto fan speed option i don't set any auto fan speed option in here and on the flight sheet settings here you can see that i set the extra config argument as a overclock setting that cc lock is 200 lock core clock is 680 memory clock is 18 and the power limit is 150 so this is the overall thing and the overall update for the risal miner so this is the overall thing in this video and the overall update as a nxl mining to choose as a lol miner and also choose as a risal miner so choose any of these whichever you like and which word is preferable for your gpa mining purpose so this is the end of this video and i just wrap up in here and if you are the new one please like and subscribe to my channel to get more updated videos just like how to mine and some crypto news about gpu mining and if you are the old one thank you again that you continuously support my channel so this is my youtube channel and here you can see that there is a lots of videos available on that so choose any of this video which one you like and which one is profitable right now there is a lots of videos available which is the recommended on the hashtag dot no is provided all the listed coin is uploaded in here so choose any of this and if you think that this video is going to be helpful for you again please like and subscribe to my channel so have a great day i will see you in the next one